Welcome back. One week from today, hundreds of Central Texans will be lacing up their running shoes for prostate cancer. It's a disease many men don't like to talk about. But joining us this morning is prostate cancer survivor John Doyle to help shed some light on this potentially silent killer. And John, one in six men will get prostate cancer. You were one of the six. Tell me about your battle. Yes, I was one of the lucky ones. <laughs> And that I'm a survivor, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's real critical that men get uh, annual physicals and have their PSA uh, uh, checked. And two years ago, I had an annual physical, and the PSA report was elevated, which was an indication that I might have prostate cancer. So, uh, at that point, I went to a urologist. I went to Dr. John Haran at uh, Urology Austin, and uh, he did biopsies and uh, did 12 biopsies, and one had cancer in it and two had precancerous cells in it um, at that point uh, he said John you can you, you have several options that you can pursue to uh, with this situation you can just wait a year and we can recheck it in a year or you can have surgery or you can have radiation or there are a number of things and after a lot of thought I decided to go the radiation route mm -hmm. the the uh, procedure for the radiation treatment had been improved and um, uh, they have improved the means of directing the radiation rays so that they're pinpointed uh, and uh, so I decided to go that route and uh, uh, did that two years ago and uh, it's it uh, to enlighten any guys that may be having to face this uh, the radiation was totally painless at all mm -hmm. I mean you know you and you spent about five minutes a day for uh, uh, 45 days and so it was quick, easy, and painless, and uh, um, I didn't have any after effects, and uh, so I've been very lucky to, to still be done well. And the treatment worked. And the treatment worked, yes. And you are, it's in remission now. Correct. Mm -hmm. And now you're spending your time advocating for prostate cancer research. Right. Uh, I went to Washington, D.C. Uh, to a conference at uh, the Zero uh, uh, prostate Cancer uh, Foundation uh, put on and we had speakers and uh, learned a lot more than I knew uh, before that and uh, and they asked me if I would uh, put on a, a fundraiser in the form of a golf tournament here in mm -hmm. Austin uh, so that's coming up uh, this coming Monday and uh, in conjunction with that is the race that's coming up at Camp Mabry uh, Saturday a week from now. Right, and, and that so, was pushed back a little bit. It had to uh, be pushed back because of the government shutdown. Right. Um, kind of uh, halting right. operations there at Camp Mabry, but it's right. happening this Saturday. That's right. And our golf tournament had to be moved because it was scheduled to be at Onion Creek Country Club, oh, and yeah. the course was flooded, so we moved it to River Place Country Club. So luckily we didn't have to change the date on the golf tournament. Unfortunately, the race uh, date had to be changed, but it will come off as scheduled uh, uh, Saturday week from today. All right. Well, John, thank you for coming in and sharing your story. We're glad that it is in remission now and that you're helping others. Right. And, exactly. Uh, thank you very raising much. Raising the awareness. So thank you so you much. Bet.